Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott, and I just wanted to share a little personal project I've been working on. I think it's really cool, and hopefully some of you do too, so let's jump right in. Before I was really into sports card videos, I watched a lot of maker videos, and with my design background, I was intrigued by some of these guys restoring and printing with old letter presses. This sort of movable type printing goes all the way back to China in 1040 AD, and then Gutenberg developed presses in the West in 1440 to print Bibles, and then letterpress was brought over to America for newspapers in 1690. It pretty much became out of date in the 1970s, but it did have quite a run there. Thanks, Wikipedia. And much like how vinyl record collectors claim that records have more heart and character, there is sort of this love for this really analog way of printing. Quite a few years ago, I was searching for a press on eBay, and I found one locally for a good price, and I snatched it up. And then cut to a few years later, I still hadn't used the thing. You know, life kind of gets in the way sometimes. But Mrs. Reindeer, she knew that I still had the itch. So she went out and she bought me these rollers, which uh, were kind of expensive. And those were the last thing I needed for the press. And then a few years later still, I still hadn't used it. And uh, she bought me for Christmas this year a one-on-one um, -on -one workshop at a local print shop, Zygote Press in Cleveland. And now I had no excuses. I talked a lot about analog so far, but I have a laser and I try to use it every chance I get, and I thought this would be a perfect way to make printing blocks. Historically, a block like this would have most likely been made out of metal, but this is how I'm gonna do it. And uh, I've tried making wood blocks for printing before with varying degrees of success, but um, I'm making satchel here with the idea that I'll try to replicate those old Wheaties cards from the 50s. I could have done this whole thing on the woodblock. There's the portrait of Satchel Page and his name underneath, but I decided to set the type separate just to experience setting metal type. Um, I don't have a lot of type at home, but Zygote has a really nice selection to choose from, and I wanted to take advantage of that. And uh, here I'm locking the first color block into place. We got our ink on the press and it is time for the magic to happen. You can see the rollers grabbing ink from the ink plate and then inking up the first block. And here's what the first layer looks like. Uh, none of this is perfect, but the idea was just to get my feet wet, but not wet with ink, because then I'd just be tracking ink all over the place. Here we're setting up the second color. You can see the type under the block there. And there was a lot of measuring and stuff to try to get it lined up with the first block. We had the most trouble trying to get the second block to print right. I still couldn't tell you what was wrong. Maybe it was uneven or something, but I don't know. But there was no turning back now. We got it printing somewhat okay, so we just kind of went with it. And there's the block on the press. And we'll print the second color. And voila. Not perfect, but these have a lot of character, just like Satchel, I guess. Here's Mrs. Reindeer giving it a go. <laughs> My print was better, just saying. And here's about 15 prints or so. All 
right, that's my letterpress experience so far. It was really neat using a 60-year-old press to make something much like they would have done it way back when Rick Vintage Oddball Cards was a kid. Like I said, the results weren't perfect, but it was really fun and I have plans to do a lot more. I have a little more stuff to buy before I can do this at home and maybe I'll take a step back and start with some one color prints, but I just love learning new skills. Super, super fun. So I've let these dry for a couple days. I'm trimming them to size. And we don't cut corners around here. Actually, we do. I found this rounded corner cutter at an auction years ago. It's perfect for big fake Wheaties cards. Maybe a little Wheaties crossed with 49 leaf just because of the imperfections that make those cards so cool. And that's what we look like. Big thank you to Zygote Press. Thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch and we'll see you on the next one.